Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna be going over how F5's distributed cloud can simplify telco cloud deployments. Now, typically for telco clouds, you have multiple different stacks for the different components for your 5G core networks, your network applications, and your edge applications, which is inefficient and it's complex to manage. So with F5's distributed cloud, this can all be managed on distributed cloud app stack and managed centrally through F5's distributed cloud console. So my friends over in the service provider group have set me up with this demo that I'm gonna show you. It's got a couple of sites. There's a core site running our 5G centralized components and an edge site running on our F5 distributed cloud app stack where we're running some 5G components such as AMF, SMF, and user plane or UPF as well as an edge application and our N6 LAN networking services. And so we can connect our user equipment to our edge site and then also into the internet and other applications. So to demonstrate, we've got a simulated mobile client and you can see it's not connected at the moment and we've just got some logging running in the bottom right hand corner. So first thing I'll do is connect my device. You can see the lines go green. There's some logging as the device sends some API calls and gets an IP and it's connected to the network. It's not yet connected to the internet, so it's only connected to our edge cloud, but I'll connect to the internet also and you can see it gets a public IP as well. So our device is now connected. When we make that connection, there's a lot of API calls that are made. We can actually see this within Distributed Cloud Console. The console supports different ways to look at our 5G APIs. We're gonna show you a couple of use cases here. We can show you how F5 Distributed Cloud can provide custom API monitoring. It can do sensitive data detection, and it can do compliance here with three GPP standards at the endpoint level as well as the parameter level. So we'll go to the security dashboard and we can see here that F5 Distributed Cloud already discovered APIs and has detected some sensitive data. Let's increase the time a bit so we can see more data on the dashboard. As you can see here, we're also seeing some security events that were occurring during this time period and we can see the top attack sources, top attack path, location, Obviously, this source IP is a private IP. However, if it was a public source IP, it would be shown here on the map as well. And we'd see the security features that we have enabled in our deployment. So let's have a look at one of the 5G functions and look at the API endpoints. So we can see here that the system already has the three GPP endpoints that are shown in dark blue. However, we're seeing an additional one in light blue. The endpoints marked light blue means they're discovered by F5 Distributed Cloud. And if you look at this endpoint, we see that it's showing red, which means that this API is actually not part of the three GPP standard API endpoints. And actually this endpoint is a custom API endpoint that's provided by free 5GC to actually monitor the AMF functions. Another example we can go through is for the NRF function. And if we look at the NRF function, we see that F5 Distributed Cloud already discovered the traffic. However, we do see it's detecting sensitive data for the IP address. So if we look at the request, we can see that the IP address actually has been detected in the request headers and the location field. So this will help service providers to detect if any of the APIs can expose sensitive data. This is not just limited to the built-in parameters that F5 Distributed Cloud can detect. Service providers can also create custom sensitive data types that can be used for additional sensitive data detection. Now, let's look at another use case where we see for this endpoint, the actual standard is using version two of the build. However, this implementation of the free 5GC is actually version one. So we know now from this that this current implementation of the mobile code is not actually following the latest three GPP builds. So this is release 15. However, both are using release 15, but the actual traffic is not the actual API calls that are not following the latest three GPP release 15 latest build. I'll go back now to the security dashboard to look at the security events. So if I go down here, I can see that the security events is actually happening from this location, the NRF function. 
So if I go to the NRF function and I go to the security analysis, I can see here all of the security alerts. So if I took a look at the security alerts, I can see that actually it's detecting a violation on the parameter level. So for this parameter, we're receiving a different value than the expected value, which should be an array. What we can also show is how this works with an edge application. So in this example, I'm running this video, it's connected to both playing from the edge cloud and the public cloud. And you can see both videos are currently playing because everything is connected, but the latency is much lower for my edge cloud deployment. So if I go back to my network and disconnect, I've got a problem with my internet connection. The video pauses as it runs out of buffer, but the application running in the edge cloud is still working, even though we've lost that internet connectivity. So demonstrating the advantage of deploying applications in your edge cloud. Because everything is deployed within the distributed cloud app stack, uh, we can actually go into the cloud console and have a look at what's going on inside of there. We can get visualization of all the Kubernetes pods running. We can have a look and see, get some detail on those pods so you can see the pods we have running. Covering both are kind of the F5 networking components, some of the analytics. We've got Nginx running as an application. Here are our 5G components, AMF, SMF, and UPF. So everything is available to see in a single screen. You can see the analytics. We can get some sort of summary analytics here. And then also if we connect to a device, we can even see for a particular pod, we can get to the graphical and easy view of the actual resource utilization and all the parameters for that pod. And as well, because we are running all the traffic through the F5 distributed cloud that's seeing all the user play traffic, which means we can actually export that to an analytics application running on AppStack. So in this case, we're running Elastic with the Cabana for visualization, and you can see some of the services that the F5 CNF is servicing. So both the traffic to the public cloud and the edge cloud, and you can see when we disconnected the public cloud or the internet connection, that the traffic to the public cloud dropped off. But the edge cloud continued. You can also see the security events and you can see the DNS requests that were being served from F5CNF here. So I hope this video shows you how F5 Distributed Cloud provides value to your telco cloud deployment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you wanna see more and otherwise I will see you on the next one.